Hello, Broadcast Children, and welcome to Broadcast Lab, where we're here to do yet another experiment. So, this is so exciting. This month, we are talking about friendship, and we know that friendship is using your words and actions to show others that you care. So, of course, that means you're being a true friendship when you do that, when you use the words and, and, and your actions properly. Now, today we're going to learn about solid friendships and how that is part of God's plan, okay? And we are going to do that using ice cubes and salt. It's going to be so much fun. Now, let me ask you a question. Have any of you ever gone out in the winter time and you stuck your tongue to something that was frozen? Oh, we know what happens then. We got stuck, didn't we? Or maybe you're eating ice cubes and one gets stuck on your lip and you're like, what is going on? What is happening? Did you know that frozen substances really are not sticky at all? No, they're not. But we're going to learn today a little bit about the tongue velcro and we're going to learn about what God wants us to have in solid friendship. Okay, so I have my ice cubes here and I'm going to get out two and I'm going to try to stick them together. And what is happening? They're not sticking together. They keep falling apart no matter what I do. It holds for a second and it falls off. So look, it's holding for a second, but then it falls off. If I put it down, it doesn't work. Now, we're going to try a little trick using some salt. I'm going to sprinkle the salt on the side of the cube. And then I'm going to stick the cube to it. And I'm just going to hold it together for a couple of seconds. Because you know sometimes when you're using glue, you have to hold it for a second for it to work. And I want you to look at that. It is sticking together. What do you think is happening? Now, did you know that salt lowers the freezing point of water? It certainly does. So now when the salt hits the cube, it makes a little tiny pit because a little bit of the water melts and then it becomes like a non-skid surface. So when I took the other cube and I stuck it to it, it like it refroze it together. It's like frozen glue. Look at that, it is holding. So exciting. So in the winter time, when you see trucks going out, when there's snow about to come and they're spraying this salt mixture all over the road, they're doing the same thing. They're getting the salt on the road to make the road a non-skid surface to help us be able to drive. Okay, so now, as you can see, it is still holding extremely well. So what made the difference? The salt. So how are friendships like this? So in our first instance, when we had salt cube, I mean cubes that would not stick together, they would not stick together no matter what we did, they come apart. But look, these stick together. So what's the difference in the ones that stick together and the ones that do not? Well, the ones that do not, they are like friends that you might do, do one activity with. You only see them briefly, okay, only for a short time, and you don't develop a relationship with them. And that way, they are easily broken apart. But friendships like this, look at that. It is still holding. Friendships like these come because when you trust in God and you love others just the way God wants you to love them and both of you are doing that, the friendship becomes super solid and not easy to break apart. Isn't that so exciting? And that's what God wants for you and me. He wants all of us to have really good friends. Now let me read a verse from 1 Samuel chapter 20, verse 42. Jonathan said to David, go in peace. In the name of the Lord, we have taken an oath. We promised to be friends. Look at that. Jonathan and David are taking an oath before God, promising to be friends. I love it. And it says the Lord is a witness between you and me. So when you do that, you have such a tight bond. It is not easily broken, just as our ice cube was not. So when you want a good friend, you think about treating them and loving them just the way God wants you to, and they will do the same with you, and your friendship will be very strong. Okay, go make some really solid good friendships, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.